Hey everyone, it's Yuri. Um, I know that a lot of people have been making these kind of videos, but I've gotten a few questions on how to erase and how to make the eraser bigger on Microsoft Paint, that is, MS Paint. So, I'll show you my way of doing it. Um, well, I'll just make a scribble here. Okay, scribble, woohoo! Okay. Okay. To get rid of the green line, you use the eyedropper, which is this little eyedropper pick color thing. I'll enlarge it for you here. This thing, right here. This is the eyedropper. Use it to select and pick colors. Okay? Okay, now back here, you select the color that you want to change or erase. Now, you right click and select whatever color that you want to replace or get rid of. So, you can, how about, let's replace it with orange. So you right click on the orange. Now, see this? Up in the corner, there's this, um, these two squares. See them? By the paint color. This upper one is your left, um, your left click. And the lower one is your right click. So, to get it to change to a different color, you right click on that color in the um, in the color pad thing over here. Okay, so once you have that, see up here in the corner? I don't know if you can see, but either way, it's there. So now you can go to the eraser and right click and it'll start changing it. But of course, with a small eraser, it takes forever. So I can show you how to make the eraser bigger. I personally have to find an on-screen keyboard because to do this you need to have a number pad which is um, it's not on your keyboard and not above the letters it's usually to the right of the letters and I don't have that on my laptop so what I do is first you click in an extra space if you can on that spot then you go to on screen keyboard and there's a number pad on it so you press control and hold it and then you start clicking the plus button and it makes it bigger see much bigger now you can compare the two for other keyboards and people who don't use a laptop like mine you can just press the control button and then hold the, uh, the plus button on the number pad or press it a bunch of times. So now it's bigger and it's easier to erase and change the color. And you can close the on-screen keyboard. So, and it takes like half the time. Then that replaces it, okay? So what if you want to erase it? You just right click on the white and go over it. But you gotta make sure that you select that color. Okay? I hope this makes sense. Um, let's see. The eraser will stay this size unless you change it or click another one of the squares on the left side over here that are different sizes. And you can use this shrinking growing thingy with all of the tools. Uh, like, here's a com little comparison. Okay, see? Made it get bigger. So, 
Um, yeah, I think, I hope that helped. I really do. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, I know that a lot of people have been making videos like this, but, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, and I'd like to do a little bit of advertising now. I have a new manga called Jiki Chocho. Here's a preview of it. It's still a work in progress, and I only have one page done so far. And this is the only page I'm going to give you a preview of before, um, before I let out the first chapter. So, yeah. Um, it'll have about, well, I don't know how many chapters it'll have, but it'll have about 8 to 10 pages each chapter, and it'll go however long I'm still interested in doing it. Um, yeah, there's a link to it on my DeviantArt, and if I remember, I'll link to it on the description. So, yeah. Ciao, matane.